Hi, I'm Joe Birch. This is Michelle DeMello. We're business development managers with BMD, and we're here today to talk to you about the Henry Residential Light Commercial Weatherization System. Today, we're going to cover the first part of their system. It's called uh, Weather Resistant Barriers. Michelle's going to start it out. Okay, so step one of the one, two, three system is your weather resistant barriers. And there's three things that a weather resistant barrier should do. It should hold out bulk water, hold out air, but also um, be allowed to breathe. So um, I'm gonna start with JumboTex. JumboTex um, kind of being your entry level spec builder, track house type product. Work our way all the way up to a product that Joe's gonna talk to you about. So um, JumboTex, JumboTex is, um, asphalt saturated paper and this was really the first weather resistant barrier um, used behind your cladding it's jumbotex is the most well-known asphalt paper on the market so um, step one this is kind of the entry level of the one two three system jumbotex next thing i'm going to talk about is fly dry and fly dry is um, Kind of the entry level of house wraps and the thing about fly dry is first of all it doesn't meet the one two three system it's just not part of the system um, and the other thing is it's a woven product so woven products are um they're they're woven and the problem with a woven product is it's got a bunch of holes so when they first developed the product it was strictly a woven product they realized that la that allowed too much air and too much water to pass through so they put a clear film on the back of it, and then you have a vapor barrier, which you don't want. So then they micro punched it. So um, this is considered a woven and perforated product. And um, entry, again, entry level, spec house, uh, truck builder, inexpensive. That was your, that's, that's you know, kind of, kind of where you start with, with house wraps. The next house wrap I'm going to talk about is also not part of the one, two, three system, but I just want you to kind of be aware of, of this product and some of the things about this product that um, some, some of the kind of limitations about it. So this is Tyvek and everyone knows Tyvek. Tyvek is the um, leading house wrap. It's everyone knows what Tyvek is. The way Tyvek's manufactured is it's uh, spun bonded. And when something is spun bonded, they throw a bunch of threads out in different directions and then they um, compress them with heat. They're, so they're all going in different directions. But unfortunately, what you have with a spun bonded product is you have layers. And the problem with layers is water can eventually find its way through those layers. So um, Tyvek has had some issues with water finding its way back through it and saturating the plywood or the OSB. So the next product I'm gonna talk about is WeatherSmart. WeatherSmart is, um, a, a monofilament product it is um, not spun bonded doesn't have layers it is not susceptible to something called surfactants um, and what a surfactant is is something that makes water wetter or breaks down the surface tension of water so if you had a drop of water sitting on your kitchen counter it would stay in a drop but if it was mixed with soap it would completely spread out on your counter well, that's what happens when a surfactant mixes with water, finds its way to the Tyvek. Um, it actually works its way through the Tyvek. And that will not happen with the WeatherSmart. The other thing about WeatherSmart is you can install WeatherSmart with a hammer tacker and you don't have to tape any penetrations. With Tyvek, in order for Tyvek to be a weather or a, a air infiltration barrier, you can only temporarily install it with a hammer tacker and you must tape every single penetration, but you'd only have four penetrations in a three square foot area. With this product, there aren't limitations on how many hammer tacker staples you can put into it. And you don't have to tape those penetrations. Um, this actually shows a picture of the installer putting it up with a hammer tacker. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is um, drainable products. So years ago, um, there was a problem with having two flat surfaces against each other. When you had a flat surface and a flat, real flat house wrap, water was finding its way through the cladding because it just does. And it was kind of getting trapped. Joe's gonna show you, he's got a couple pieces of glass and he's gonna put a drop of water in between them. And what you get is capillary action. 
Well, that water just kind of moved its way back through the house wrap and was um, saturating the OSB and the plywood. So um, years ago, the first thing that Tyvek came up with was something called stucco wrap. And um, stucco wrap was kind of a crinkled product. And as companies kind of followed suit, everybody kind of came out with a, a drainable product. But Weather Smart Drainable is the most drainable product out there. It actually drains 95% of the water that hits it. So Weather Smart Drainable is the next product. Then I'm gonna talk a little bit about a couple more products. Um, this is called Hydrotex. Hydrotex is a layer of that jumbo text I talked about and a layer of the drainable. Typically used behind um, stucco, but also used behind siding. Basically what you get is your two layers which are required for stucco, but you also get them rolled together. So basically you save in labor. So um, Hydrotex also part of that one, two, three system. Then the last thing I'm gonna talk about is commercial wrap. Our commercial wrap is um, a heavier, thicker product than the Tyvek product. It's, um, what's really nice about this product is it can be exposed for 12 full months. Tyvek only has a nine month exposure. And um, the other thing is it's part of that one, two, three system and uh, the, the system can't be beat. So the next product we're gonna talk about is on Joe. Thanks, Michelle. Uh, the next product is called VP100 or people call it blue skin. The biggest difference between blue skin and the house wraps that Michelle's talked to you about is this one is not mechanically fastened. It is self adhered. So it's got a spring on the back and you can see how it's sticky, but it's not as sticky as other uh, flashings. So it makes the install much easier. It does give it some workability. So since there is no mechanical fasteners, the way it's sealed is by overlaps. It can be installed horizontally and or vertically. The only thing that changes is the overlaps for those. The, the best part about it is it's, it makes the walls or the structure airtight, watertight, weathertight. And the other thing that really separates it from blue skin from everything else is when you put your cladding on, um, you're gonna puncture the weather resistant barrier, the blue skin, and all those punctures thanks to this little $3 display, it self seals around all those penetrations. So your wall is considered still airtight, watertight, weathertight. And with the 2020 codes that have come out that are heading towards the net zero construction, um, it's, not letting air, it's not letting air and moisture in, it's allowing it to breathe out. It does breathe at 33 perms. The other part is you're not losing the energy out. So the home is becoming much more energy efficient. So by changing the house wrap to that, you're getting to where that code should be or where they want it to be. So like I said, Michelle talked about the mechanically fastened. This is self adhere Completely different, has to be installed a little bit differently, but it, it's the way to go. Fantastic, declare label, the whole thing. So if you ever have any questions, uh, Michelle and my phone number will be at the very end. Give us a call, drop us an email, and we'd love to answer any of your questions. So that's it for this part. This is the weather resistant barriers, part of the Henry residential light commercial line. And we hope you'll stay tuned for our, uh, our next one is gonna be on flashings. Thank you.